Outcast. Are you singing? You're probably singing Outcast songs, aren't you? Every time I say Outcast, you're probably singing Outcast songs in your head. <laughs> Good morning, Jenna. It is Wednesday, January 30th, and today we're going to talk about high school. So I read both of those articles, and God, they drudge stuff up. It's terrible how much they drudge up. Just thinking about high school, it just makes my blood boil. So I don't know what click or what, if any, I was in. I would think that I would probably be labeled nothing or not on the radar, but for me myself, I was outcast. A lot of that probably had to do with the choir, I guess. I was uh, a choir nerd. I was in the elite choirs with a lot of popular kids. I felt very like, yeah, I can sing, which earns me a place among you, but that's as far as it went. Sophomore year, I'm accepted into this really elite choir with mostly upperclassmen, but some people in my class, but all very popular kids. We got invited to go to Washington, D.C., but it came right down to it. I went and talked with my mom, and I was like, please, please come with me. So mom and dad came up with the money and mom came with me to DC and all of the photos is me and mom. Like there is nobody my age hanging out with me. So that was my sophomore year. My junior year can be described in one word, Shane. That was my high school boyfriend and I lit bridges on fire. I torched bridges. I would only hang out with him and if somebody had called, I'd be like, oh, I just, uh, you know, you shit on people long enough, they stop calling. So senior year comes around and we break up. I am devastated and I have no friends at all, like to sit at the lunch table with. It doesn't matter. I was very suicidal. I was very, very depressed. The only thing really that sort of cheered me up in that whole time frame was getting my dog, Coda. He was the sanity and the kind of bridge builder I needed to reintroduce myself with my family and uh, society. Now, I did not graduate having any friends in my senior year. My high school experience was a very, very painful. I can't imagine wanting to go back. I was that girl. I lost it entirely. That's probably why I don't enjoy Facebook because I don't want to connect with people who probably remember me as that girl. And I don't ever want to be that girl again. Now, am I still that girl inside? Probably. Do I identify with being the outcast? Yeah. God, what a, what a downer video. For reals. We didn't come up with something happier to talk about. Boo. I'm glad you had a better high school experience than I did. My high school experience sucked. I'll see you on Saturday.